everyone so welcome to this video today we're going to be talking about flakes shader and i've recently built out on one of my streams this opal shader from unreal engine demo for 5.2 where they showcase this rivian car and it has this nice flakes that are 3d and it, it creates a really nice parallax effect i'm just going to show you what i found the best and easiest approach to make this and you can also download the shader in the description if you're interested in that i have uh, my trusty pole star here i'm gonna start by creating a metallic material that we can use as our base layer and then we can add to it so let's start by creating material redshift standard and i'm just gonna drag this to the metallic part of a car right now it's plastic and if we drag the metalness out it will make it metallic so this is a good start and i will make it something like a uh, blue will do the reflections purple if i look around the car we'll get this purple look but it's also blue at the same time so really nice effect we can build the flakes inside that material so if i'm going to go to that material and show note editor and i can start by uh looking at that uh so this is our base layer uh we're gonna have redshift standard material and then we can bring another material that will be our flakes standard material i'm also going to bring the flakes node and that flakes node has four outputs so the out normal will go into the bump input and as redshift um, states in their documentation you shouldn't apply bump map as Redshift documentation states, because it works differently. So you apply flakes directly to the bump map. That's the first thing to remember. And the second thing, uh, it's important, as you have this out alpha, which you can take to the opacity, and you can use this as a map. But the best way to do it is to actually create transparent material, just a glass. So another Redshift standard, and I'm just going to get rid of the base, get rid of the reflection and increase the weight to one and the transmission tab. This will give me the glassy material. And now I can layer these together. The way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to bring material layer and I'm just going to hold control and copy that again. We're going to use it twice. Since I have this, I can drag the glassy material into the material layer as a base layer color. And then the flakes I can drag as a layer color one and use the out alpha as a as a mask. And now if I combine these, the metallic shader and the flake and plug it into the surface, you will see we have this metallic car with our flakes, which already creates an interesting shader, but we can now dial it uh, with scale. So if I'm going to reduce the scale and make them smaller. And this will be like really tiny. This creates awesome effects actually. And we can reduce the density. And once we reduce the density, we get that nice tiny flakes look. Just gonna maybe increase them a little bit back. This material is still uh, very much plastic, very much basic ratio material. But if I increase the metalness just on flakes, so if I, if I name the flakes, glass, metallic, I don't know how to write. Is it double L? No, I need to find out. It's double L. Okay. So now when I combine this and I increase the metalness on that flakes material, I increase the metalness, we'll see, we'll starting to get that shiny look. And the shiny looks good. The, the one thing we can increase the shiny look, we can just bring up the gray values more to the white. We get more reflection this way. And now we can go back to the flakes and dial it maybe uh, even less dense. This is really interesting. And it's, it's layered um, with the glass on top. And I'm going to zoom in because there is awesome part on that flakes node. On that flakes node, we can uh, start messing with 3D flakes. So if I'm just going to increase the depth because we set it up through the glass shader, we can get that parallax effect. The first time increase the depth and is a uh, dance between depth and step size. So if step size will be, for example, let's start with three and then maybe decrease the density. I can re reduce, okay, to one. If you look closely, I'm getting that 3D effect of these flakes parallaxing and being there in depth. The next thing you can do, go into the flakes node and you see there is a 
outflakes ID. There's another output where we can bring in the ramp, plug it as a alt input, and that ramp feed it into the flakes shader. We don't see much. We see some of them, the gray values, so that create interesting interesting combo. And if we increase that, we, we, we're just gonna get that variety, which is pretty good. The next thing we can do, we can actually bring materials, uh, and we can bring different colors. It can be purple, can bring orange, or yellow, greenish. So we can bring all the crazy colors we think about. And you can see that material being really well uh, showcased here. So you can see the representation of that material now when I look at the material and its behavior, I can see I have all these colorful notes and maybe uh, what will be better if we go to that base material and make it really dark, just so these flakes will pop and make it also less saturated. Nice one. So this is something that uh, creates really nice shader uh, really easily and you can see it's all 3D and it's moving really in a nice fashion. Um, and now it's only about uh, tuning the whole material the way that we're going to go to flags and we either increase the scale or decrease the scale, make them even tinier, but it works with bigger, you know, we can make big ones and we can also uh, increase the depth, step size. So now we have those big ones and we say, I really like that, but uh, maybe let's add small ones too. So we can take this whole setup. This is a one material. If you think about this whole thing, that's a one material layered over our metallic car paint. And with this car paint, we can either go into the, we can create another flex node actually, because that's the basic setup for flex. So we can go out normal into the bump map and we will get that flex straight away. Now we have the, the large one and the tiny ones. So if we can decrease the density here. So we have a base layer and we can always take this whole thing, duplicate it. Bring another material layer. This one is a base, and this one as a layer color one. And swap it around. And now I change the flakes of these to the large one. So we have a couple big ones, we have small ones, and they all in 3D. So if I just now go through that, you see how you have this nice effect. Yeah, I think that's really beautiful. Thank you for watching.